The edit menu contains a series of commands for working with objects. You'll notice a lot of things in here that you'll probably find in the edit menus of various other applications, such as undo and redo, which generally I would find myself using control Z more often than not, but they're right here inside the menu anyway. We have the ability to change our transformation widget. So we have translate, rotate, and scale, which is of course like move, rotate, and scale. Currently I have the translation widget active, which you can see here in my perspective viewport. If I switch over to rotate, you'll notice that updates to our three rotation circles. And if we set it to scale, we have our scale widget as well. If we don't want to see the transform widget at all, we can just switch that off right here. And now that's out of the way. We can also cut, copy, and paste objects. So if we want to make a copy of a uh, static mesh, for example, we can hit control C or just come over here to copy. And then we can hit control V or choose paste. So very common feature that you'll find even in uh, word processing, do uh, document creation applications, that sort of thing. Now, moving down from here, we have duplicate and delete. So if you don't want to do the whole control C, control V thing, you can just select an object and choose duplicate and it'll just automatically create a duplicate for you, or you can delete it right here. Next, we have some selection options. We can choose select none if we don't want to select anything in the scene, or of course we have select all. We can invert a selection, which means eh, if you want to select everything except one object, you could, for instance, select that object and then choose invert selection. You can also select by property. And at the very bottom, we have the find actors option. And if you click on this, this gives you a nice little search window to help you find any particular object. So we could, for instance, type in point if we want to find a specific point light. And here's a list of all of the point lights in our scene. We could click on any one of these, maybe double click it, and we'll actually select and jump right to it. And we'll talk a bit more about the search for actors window a little bit later once we get to its icon in the main toolbar. So that's just a quick look at the edit menu. Very straightforward. A lot of the same options you'll find in the edit menus of various other applications. And that will wrap up this video.